Easy does it now. Easy does it. Dadgum! This is a bomb disposal robot I purchased from the US Army, and today, we're gonna put it to work. <laughs> no, 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 no! Dang it! They say it can drag 200 pounds. I'm not really buying it. What the heck is my life? Hey, is this your sock? What? <gasps> 0, ready for decon. This is the Foster Miller Talon, first introduced in 2000. This is their fourth generation robot. I believe they're up to generation six now. Yeah, we'll probably have to back up from this one. Oh! The big question I know a lot of you are probably wondering is how much did it cost? So I bought this for $3,500 in a government auction. I've seen them sell anywhere between two to $14,000, and that doesn't include auction fees and shipping and the batteries. The batteries, man, they were $400 a piece, and I bought four of them. The robot could take up to six batteries, and the controller takes one. It has four camera views, the mast, gripper, elbow, and rear camera. The mast camera pans and tilts and has a light that can be switched between white and infrared for night vision. One lens is a 180 degree fisheye and the other is a zoom lens for interrogating suspicious objects. The controller may look pretty complicated at first, but it's pretty simple, just like an RC car. There are two moving arm segments and a wrist that can spin. Allegedly, the arm can lift 40 pounds, but mine can barely hold 10. I think I read somewhere that the motors have clutch discs that can wear out. It has these epic fire control switches and corresponding harnesses on the robot so you can hook up all sorts of fun stuff. The army experimented with mounting weapons to it in a program called Swords. Man, what are the odds? As soon as I give this thing a weapon, it goes rogue. I mean, every time they do this in movies. Was that you? No, dude. It can output analog audio and video and also do VR goggles, but I imagine it's ancient tech considering this is like early 2000s stuff. I've been operating this over radio frequency, but it also came with a fiber optic spool that you can use in case you want to take it inside a structure without line of sight or something. Huh? Hey! Oh no. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hello, bomb squad. How may I help you? Hey, hi. Uh, there's bombs here. How many? Um, all of them. You're kidding. Yeah. Can you describe what you see? Um, it's like a smorgasbord. What? Yeah, just an absolute smorgasbord, like a cornucopia of bombs. Holy smokes. I'll be right there. <laughs> I don't think they normally use the robot to cut wires. I 3D printed these adapters. OK. 
okay. That's a lot of bombs. Was it the yellow wire or was it the red wire? No, no, it was the yellow for sure. That went all right.